So, um, so yeah, so we're, we're talking about things in this series that are, um, sometimes they're more aspirational than actual, if we're just going to be honest. Um, um, but I would also say, you know, um, if, we're, if, we're, if, we're, if we're sort of assessing ourselves on a scale of how do we look in comparison to the broader culture or what's going on in our broader culture, there's no doubt that we live in a divided time. I mean, it's just like everything is divisive. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's in charge. <laughs> like half the people hate them. Um, and, 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 and all the new media platforms and everything has given everyone a voice and it's, it's created so much division. And yet at the same time, we really long to be a place that reconciles our differences. Um, sometimes those differences are, 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 that's pain maybe in relationship. And in some ways, we might even be better at those kinds of things, like, hey, you hurt me moments, than we are at, like, hey, I think what you believe about this particular topic is stupid moments. You know what I mean? Like, um, and, and that's the, the bigger picture cultural moment. And, and so I, I guess I would just say, like, at Life Community Church, we really long to be a place that reconciles our differences. And, um, and so I guess, what does that look like? How, how does a church go about doing that? Um, what can we even learn from our failures in this? Um, but, but, you know, what, what does it mean to dissent around here and how to, how to live at peace with those that I might disagree with? And not just in peace, but in unity and in the spirit. What are your thoughts? I'm not sure if this is even answering the question, but I think coming from a church that coming from a church background that you know um, was like very, let's just call it conservative, you know, but it was very biblical, you know. I went to a ba- couple Baptist churches, went to Baptist college, and it's always you know, focus on the Word, the Bible, and truth has always been so important. And to be able to come to LCC and know that we're we're, we're focused on truth, but. Um, like I can say that when I when I talk about LCC, I I I, I talk about the, the love that we have for one another within that within that truth. You know that 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 we're not de- that we're not defined by a platform. You know that we're the church that stands up for this version of the Bible or for this stance on this social issue or or, or whatnot. And I know sometimes that can drive folks crazy that want to know where does you know we get asked where does LCC land on this where do you what do you what's your position on this and we sort of refuse to get pulled into that to get backed into that kind of a corner certainly we have a, a, pers- a biblical perspective on a lot of these issues but we're not going to get backed in and say we're going to be defined by that we want to we want to accept one another as god has accepted us in christ you know and so we're going to we're going to love we want to understand. We want to listen, you know, and um, and, and do that within the, within a, con- a broader context of, of a solid a biblical foundation. Yeah, I just love that about about this place. Um, yeah, and it can be really tempting. Uh, there can be a real temptation to think to think that we all think the same. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the fascinating things in my experience at Life Community has been, oh. I've known this person for years, and I had no idea that they they, they land in that place on that issue. I have no idea that they would say, you know, here's this thing that most churches might view this way. I don't view it that way. And, you know, I've heard this said from the front, and I don't necessarily agree with that. And it doesn't, like, it doesn't become explosive. I think that, for me, when I think about my upbringing, it was always, like, it was we, like we talked about, like the holy wars, you know, yes. or or the war on error instead of the war on terror, and we'd have to tear it down. <laughs> and 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 I, I have found a place. This is one of the gifts that life community has given me, mm-hmm. is that it doesn't it doesn't have to be yeah. a power struggle, and it doesn't have to be an either or, and lines in the sand don't have to be drawn. Um, again, that's not to say that we don't have biblically informed positions on things. Yeah. But, but holding them fairly open-handed, I think, has is, is, is been a, an indicator of our church. Is, who, who else has seen something along those lines or, or has experienced something like that that you'd be willing to, to share with us? Or? It's funny. Um, I think I said earlier, we've been around here since, I think, like 1995. And 
you plant a church with people, you grow to love them and you respect people and you've served alongside. And um, it's been interesting because I think sometimes I get frustrated when people assume things about evangelical churches, everyone, yep. and then fill in the blank, right? Yep. The shoulds. <laughs> and sometimes I have been convicted, like I, like you said, Tom, I've thought, oh, I assumed that person and I have shared like that same what I might have thought 25 years ago, a key doctrinal view. Um, and so it's been funny sometimes. I'll be in cell group with someone that I've known for a long time, and I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> I didn't know that was your stance on that. But it's not such a big deal. It's like, oh, you know, tell me about that. And then there's other things that I go, oh, wow, we have really different views on that. And sometimes, honestly, some of those things have been um, – not a big deal. And sometimes I'm like, well, that was hurtful, right? Like that was a hurtful thing you just said. And, and maybe I've not communicated that. And, and so I've really appreciated over the years. Sometimes someone will come to me even like 10 years later. Can you remember that thing I said? Yeah. I, I've changed. Yeah. I don't, I, that person wouldn't have, wouldn't say that anymore. I'm not that same person. And to say, I loved you then. I love you now. But I'm glad. I'm glad we're all growing. But I've changed too, and I yeah, see it your way now. Yeah, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Or, and so there's things that I go maybe are things like maybe interpretation of the Bible, and sometimes they're about social issues. It could be political issues. It could be I mean, one that I thought was interesting was people have really interesting views on parenting their children. Yes. And I mean, I am talking like I remember years ago, like people were fighting over if you should have a pacifier or not. And I was like, Thank God I don't go to church that has taken a stance on how to, you know, have your child sleep. And I go, I know that sounds possibly a little ridiculous, but I go, when I have talked to friends, I'm like, yeah, I think we're out at this church. Like, if I don't fill in the blank, educate my child and fill in the blank, then we're on the outskirts. And I thought, oh, we've got everybody doing their own thing. And, and I glad like I've never felt like someone has told me what I need to believe on a on certain topics but you better believe the ones we say you we're not gonna Major compromise majors, on yeah. or we're gonna stick to those but everything else I go there's room to say could be a little gray it's like the first item on our list is this should be short like you know that that we're in the making of lists, there can be no end. But we've we've taken a position that says, man, we want to keep short lists when it's if if it really has to be this way, it has to be this way. And and it's funny, um, you know, because this this whole series is about I like in some ways like the identity of Life Community Church, like, um, and, and I, I I just sort of in my other life swim in circles where I I'm exposed to a lot of churches, and and without naming any, obviously, but like churches kind of take on a label. Like that's the church where they all, there's nothing wrong with these things, but like that's where they all homeschool. <laughs> or, you know, that's the church where everybody is really into, you know, this social issue. Um, and it's funny because I don't, I'm an insider, so I don't know what people say about us. And usually when they say it, I kind of like, eh. but, but, but I would hope people would say, Gosh, that's the church that frustrates me because, like, they don't have a label that you we can put, pin you on. Can't them. put a finger on. Yeah, like I think well, just when I think I've got it, it seems like wait a minute, there's another one over here. Yeah. Um, and so, it's it's actually something that we're we're kind of, it's it's intentional. It's not like if if you're new around life community, it's not it's not just a happy accident that you from time to time may be frustrated because we say like, hey, we think this, but we also think this, and we understand that there's tension between those things. Um, that happens on a regular basis because we kind of, we kind of hold those things on the edges pretty loosely.